All right, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites here again to prophesy the total destruction, downfall of, of Babylon, aka America. I'm the brother, not by Ash, just the brother Ash of the GMS Indianapolis camp. Come with another episode to get your mind right. Today we're gonna be dealing with with temptation and the, the different types of temptations and, and how to fight these temptations. Cause this is really like an encouragement video to help brothers out there to fight their own personal demons and battles that even though we in this this truth we still gonna sin but don't let this sin weigh you down you see what I'm saying just pray to the Lord you how about me I was shy to deliver you pick yourself back up and keep going you see what I'm saying don't let it weigh you down and well, oh Lord I guess you're not dealing with me since I've done this and it's over for me no no it's all a battle because to tell you in Acts chapter 14 through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom. Part of that tribulation is what? Them temptations in this flesh, in this world. It's not going to be a cakewalk to, to the kingdom. We're going to have to struggle and, and go through different fights and battles. But the key is, is to endure until the end like I tell you in Matthew. That's how you survive and make it. See what I'm saying? Yahweh Shai went through the same thing. See what I'm saying? So what makes us any different from Yahweh Shai? He went through it. We got to go through it in order to get to the kingdom. That's part of the battle. That's part of the good fight of faith. See what I'm saying? What, what you got, bro? So, you can, uh, this is uh, Matthew chapter 26, uh, verse 41. It said, watch and pray. See, it said, watch and pray. Be aware of what's going on around you, man. Watch for everything. Don't get, like they say in the hood, don't get caught slipping. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. It says um, that he enter not into temptation. That's right. It says enter not into temptation. And since we mentioned that word uh, temptation, we're going to look up that word. In the Greek, temptation is periosmos or pyrosmos, which means uh, put into proof by experiment of good, experience even of evil, solicitation, discipline, or provocation see so part of them temptation is what experience of good and evil you see what I'm saying so when you're tempted with this situation that's what you trying to choose life or death you see what I'm saying that's either you're gonna make it or you're gonna fall cuz hey it's a lot of temptations out here in the world the biggest temptation Israelite brothers go through is what women you see what I'm saying? That's the biggest temptation. A lot of Israelites, they see a woman and they want to hit it, but they don't care if she's married or not. That's a temptation. You got to fight that, that demon, man. And Satan know your weakness because he play on your weakness. See what I'm saying? A lot of brothers have problems with, you know, even quitting smoking. You know, that's a demon. You just got to fight it. You know, don't don't beat yourself up about the situation. Just pray to you how about she may have a shot. He gonna deliver you and keep pushing. Let me uh get this. Quick. Yeah, go ahead, bro. This is uh Matthew chapter four verse one. It said, "Then you have a shot led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil." Just letting you know, even your have a shot was, was was tempted, man. You know, we ain't no be we ain't no greater than him. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna be tempted. You know, so if the devil coming there, you have a shot, knowing he the son of the most high, what more are we? We're going to get tempted. You know? That's right. Okay, you know, I'm going to jump back to this uh, verse 41. Matthews uh, 26 and 41. Oh, hold on. But going, going back to that temptation with uh, Yahweh Shai and Satan, how did Yahweh Shai defeat Satan? He didn't do it on his own. He fought Satan with what? The word. Yeah. That's how he defeated Satan. He didn't do it on his own. No, he fought it with his father's word, which is a knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this word right here. See what I'm saying? So that's how we got to fight these demons as well. Standing in these scriptures and praying to you. How about Shimei Go ahead, bro. Continue on in Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. It says, Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. See? The spirit is willing to do right, the, but the flesh is weak. We all fall victim to a big booty broad. You know what I'm saying? Real, real pretty in the face and got a nice shape, but a big booty. 
that's a man's weakness. You see what I'm saying? But in this flesh, you got to fight that temptation. Because you don't know if she's married or not. She can lie to you and say you not, that she's not. But in all actuality, she really is. You see what I'm saying? Now, that's putting you further into what? Sin. Because now, you didn't commit adultery. You didn't know that. But see, that's why you have to pray to you how about she may shot. Because the Lord, what? And get you away from these wicked uh, women and, and people out here, these two-thirds out here in the world. Because why? Your mind is focused on, on this word. On the spirit of you, how about shimmy out with a shot? See what I'm saying? That's that's a hard fight to keep yourself as a righteous and holy man because we're going to sin. You know, that, that's just part of it. That's just part of the flesh. But we have to fight. That's the thing. We got to fight. We can't just yield into temptation just because it look good or feel good or taste good. No. No, you got to fight it. You see what I'm saying? So, hey. Brothers, just just keep fighting, man. Don't don't beat yourself up. Don't give up. Fight, man. That's what the Lord wants you to do. Fight for His truth. Fight for His word. Fight, fight for His mercy and grace, man. What you got, bro? Go to Matthew um, chapter six, and verse thirteen. It said, "And lead us not into temptation." See, that's part of the Lord's prayer. It said, "Lead us not into temptation," but what, bro? But deliver us from evil. From bad times. That's what evil means. Eve mean time. Ill mean bad. So the prayer to the Lord to deliver you from bad times. Part of them bad times is what? Adultery. See what I'm saying? Homosexuality. See what I'm saying? Lesbianism. What? Worshiping other idols. Calling on other false gods. See what I'm saying? That's why you're supposed to keep your mind on the spiritual aspect of your how about shooting out with shot. Not of your own self, because you're nothing. You're a, you're a slave to your house shot. So you owe him everything. Your mind, soul, and body. What else you got, bro? I'm going to keep on with that one. It says, uh, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. That's what we're striving for. To make it to the kingdom on this side. You see what I'm saying? That your house by Shimei was shot. Come and deliver us. That that he finds something in us worthy to deliver us out of this hellhole, man. You know, we 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 striving hard, man. We striving for perfection, and part of that striving for perfection is what? Not yielding to these temptations. What you got, bro? Uh, I'm gonna go down to uh, Luke. Uh, what's this? Four and thirteen. Okay. It said, and when the devil had ended all the temptations, he departed from him for a season. That's right. Just like the scripture tell you, resist the devil and he shall flee. That's what Yahweh shot did. Come on. He resisted the devil and guess what? He left. <laughs> he didn't bother Yahweh shot for a season. He still came back. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's the problem again. <laughs> temptations going to come like all the time. That's right. You know, uh, just because you pass one temptation don't mean that it's not going to come back no more because it's going to study come back. Because I used to be a smoker. And uh, them temptations still try to come back. Them demons still try to come back. I'll see somebody light up a cigarette or a fiber blunt or something. I don't, you know, and uh, and I, I'll just be like, ooh, man. Then I, you know, you, you got to fight it, man. You don't hit the square. You fight it. You got to fight, man. It, right. it's, it's a constant battle uh, between your spirit and your flesh. Constant. That's right. We want to do right, but the flesh, like, I don't do because them desires, our flesh desires ain't what our spirit, you know, and they, they conflict with each other all the time. Right. We want to do right, but the flesh, like, do wrong. You know? That's right. That's what Paul said. That that I don't do, I do, and that that I want to do, I don't do. You know? That's the battle of the flesh. You know? And, uh, and we all went through that smoking demon, man. I know mine was so bad that I could walk by a cigarette on the ground. It's like that cigarette would just magically light up to try and tempt me. You know what I'm saying? The smoking into my nose and everything, man. And that wasn't number safe. Because that cigarette, you know, was, was out. But as soon as you walk by, you just see it magically just light up like somebody was puffing on it just to try and tempt you. You get tempted watching TV. Somebody puffing on the cigarette, you're like, damn, it look good. You know, but that ain't number Satan trying to tempt you, knowing you're trying to fight to stay in this truth, man. 
You know, it's a hard battle, man. Like I said, Satan know your weaknesses. He ain't nobody to get you at. You just gotta resist it and fight. That's part of this this truth, man. You gotta fight. Go ahead, bro. Um, I'm gonna go to First uh, Corinthians 10 and 13. It said, it says, there hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh, but Yahweh is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. That's right. As long as you focus on the Lord, He He gonna get you out of this situation. It may seem like a hard situation, but there's nothing too hard for the Lord. You see what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people that do get caught up in adultery is because they want to commit that adultery. They seek after another man's woman. Damn, she look good. I'm going to conquer her. And then they get caught up in that adulterous situation. And then wonder why their life is going to hell in a handbasket. See what I'm saying? They don't understand why this is happening. Why they getting caught by this girl and getting caught by that girl. You making dumb ass decisions. You know? Uh, you got something else, bro? Give me a... Uh... See, you done with that one. Yeah. Give me uh, James chapter 1. James 1 and 12. It's James chapter 1 verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. See, it said blessed is the man. Not curse, but blessed is the man that endureth temptation. See what I'm saying? Fighting those demons, over conquering, conquering your battles, trusting in your how by Shimei was shot. Go ahead, bro. It says, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. See, and how do you love the Lord? By following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, to the best of your ability. Okay. See what I'm saying? You endure it to the end. The Lord is gonna give you what? The crown of life, which is what eternity, the kingdom of heaven. That's what we're seeking for. You see what I'm saying? But you got to remember, in this flesh, we got to do what? Fight. That's the key. You got to fight. Not yield in or give to, but fight. When that urge hits you, you got to, yeah, how about Shimei was shot? Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Help me. You see what I'm saying? That's what the Lord wants, for you to call on Him. And mean what you pray for. That's right. You can't be like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm praying for it. And then... Be like, well, Lord, I'm just gonna do it one more time. Man. That's not a that's not a, a good prayer. Now, sometimes you you will slip, you know, but you can't just be just give in, you know. You know, you can uh, uh every man. What the scripture say? Uh, man falls uh, seven times. Yo, get righteous back up. man, yep. A righteous man falls seven times, but get back up, man. So he let you know you gonna fall sometime. But you gotta get back up. Don't beat yourself over the head. Like the Lord don't love me, and you know, how about Shimei Yashai not dealing with me? No, he's just testing you to see, maybe to see where to start you from. You know, you, you he might not, he know where to start you from, but you know, he's just testing you so you can see where yourself is at. Like, I ain't strong enough, so I need to do more, you know. That's right. Your biggest enemy is yourself most of the time. That's right. That's right. Yeah, bro. Uh, I'm actually going to jump up to verse 6. This is James 1 and 6. I got you, bro. It said, But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Meaning not doubting. Don't hesitate or, or don't be indecisive about what you're praying for. Like bro said, you pray to Yahweh by Shimei and Shai, be confident in your prayer. You know, don't be sitting there. Lord, if it's okay with you or if you see fit. No, you tell the Lord, Lord, look, I want you to deliver me from this right here, right now. Lord, you know I'm trying, but deliver me. I'm calling upon you. I can't do this on my own. I need your help, Lord. Help me. You see what I'm saying? And guess what? The Lord will deliver you from that. Whatever your situation is, the Lord will deliver you. If, he, if it's gambling or whatever. The Lord will deliver you from that situation. You know, lying to brothers, being disobedient to brothers, 
You know what I'm saying? The Lord will deliver you from that if you ask faithfully. Like I said, not wavering meaning not doubting yourself. Not doubting the faith that you have by Shimei Shah. Being confident in what you're asking for. You see what I'm saying? You got something, bro? Uh, matter of fact, let me get, uh, Let me get what's that? Matthew 26 and 41. Let me get first Timothy. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Six and nine. Because, you know, a lot of people out there uh, desire to like to be rich and have money, you know. That's they that's they big thing. But, you know, you shouldn't, I mean, you, you got to pay your bills. But your main focus shouldn't be on, 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 on money. Your main focus should be on this this, this, this word, you know. So, right. I'm going to read uh, 1 Timothy 6 and... Uh, now, said, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and, and, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men, to, to, which drown men in destruction and per perdition. That's right. For the love of money is the root of all evil. That's right. Now read that again from the top, bro. It said, but they that will be rich but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful, hurtful lusts. And what is part of that? The biggest thing is what? Women. A lot of men like to get more money to impress what? Women. Because if women didn't care how you look or your social status or whatever, they'll just accept us as being looking like bombs. But a lot of men do what? They make more money to try to impress women by getting the, the finest haircut, you know, line of the Steve Harvey line and razor, razor line. You know what I'm saying? Going to the mall, getting the most flyest gear, the most fly shoes, the most flyest car to what? To get a woman. You see what I'm saying? They're not looking at the spiritual aspect of the Lord is blessing you or providing you with everything. No, you're looking at it like what? I got to conquer this woman. You see, you see what I'm saying? Oh, she with old bum ass nigga. All I got to do is flash this and this and that and, and, and she going to be with me. You see what I'm saying? That's them, them wicked temptations that a lot of men fall into. You know, we hear about it all the time at work, man. You know, and part of that is what? Money. Because we know what? Women love money. So the easiest way to get a woman to take her clothes off is what? Money. See what I'm saying? But then they catch you up in a, in a situation like the brother read in perdition, perdition is what? Destruction. See what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people lives are destroyed because of what? The love of money. They they feel like they got to reach a social I mean a, a type of social status to be accepted into this world. When not realizing this world ain't nothing man. The real social status or high level of status is what? This truth. See what I'm saying? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh by Shem Shai. That is the real riches. That's the real goal you should be you should be fighting for, man. You know, not to try to have a flyers ride to impress this broad. The hell with the broad. Cause when all hell break loose, guess what? She gonna leave you anyway for somebody that can feed her a bologna sandwich. You know? And that's how it's gonna be. If you can't feed her, guess what? She gonna leave you for somebody that can feed her. You you're going to see when all hell break loose. That's when you're going to know the truth of how your woman really feel about you. Like me personally, I mean, I deal with my wife right now, but I always keep in the back of my mind, when all hell break loose, she can flip on, on me at the turn of a dime. I'm not taking a chip. Oh, I got to feed my kids. Forget you. You see what I'm saying? That's when you're going to know how your woman really feel about you when all hell break loose. Right now, things are comfortable. She dealing with you right now. But always keep in mind that what? How about Shimmy Shai got your back? 
and the brotherhood got your back. As long as you got that, you straight. I don't really think it's no such thing as no good woman. Because uh, uh, what the scripture went like, trying to save the city or whatever. If you, if you find, uh, what is it? Is the, I don't know if I, I'm in the right spot right now. But uh, when I right. was trying to uh, save the city, he was like, is this, if he could find one, he couldn't find no good women. Like zero. It was one man. No, no women. It was it wasn't one good woman in the city, man. We, 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 Matter of fact, that's in uh Ecclesiastes, that was King Solomon. See, and he couldn't find one. Oh that was yeah, yeah. It wasn't like. Yeah, we'll get it. Prove with scripture. That's why the scripture say prove all things. <coughs> That's Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 28. Yeah. Yep. 7, 28. Yep. Ecclesiastes 7 and 28. Well, start at verse 27. This well, is, start at verse. Start at verse twenty-five. This is Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse twenty-five. So I applied my heart to know, and to search, and to seek out wisdom, and the reason of things, and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. And I found more bitter than death, the woman. See, so you said you found more bitter than death, the woman. Because a woman will drive you crazy if you let her, man. She'll drive you to want to kill yourself just to get away from her. Go ahead, bro. Said, whose heart is snares and nets, mm -hmm. and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth, whoso pleaseth Yahweh shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. That's right. See, King Solomon is basically telling you a woman can get you trapped up on all sides. A lot of men have died by the hands of women. You see what I'm saying? Because of their lies and scheming and cunningness. See, you see what I'm saying? She'll sit there and sex you up. But then, like a lot of these niggas do, they'll sit there with their woman and give them that pillow talk. Tell them all their business. Tell them all their homeboy business. And then she's setting you up for the fall. Oh, for real? You got about nine kids where? Under your bed? Okay. Then she'll have rah rah from the hood. And come in while she sexing you up and rob you at gunpoint and take all your work. Why? Because you done fell victim to this broad. You just met this broad and you done already fell in love with her. Now she done set you up. Now you done got robbed and nine times out of ten killed. See what I'm saying? Because why? You done fell in love with a wicked woman. Of course you was a wicked man. See what I'm saying? That's why it's important to seek out the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this word. Because cause the Lord will lead you, lead you in that right path to where you won't fall victim to that wicked woman. You, go, you see what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. It said, Behold, this have I found, said the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. See? <laughs> King Solomon said he ain't found that one righteous woman. 
And, and, and they, back then, it was more close to you how about Shimmy how shot is than they is today. That's so right. you can imagine what today's women are like. You ain't gonna find one out of a billion. No. I mean, they'll tell you and, and be all in your face, like, oh, I'm good. That's right. Man, but I promise you, they probably not. Ten times out of ten, they not. Nope. They can lie all they want. I only been with three men in my life. But be lying. You gotta multiply that three by by three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> not that big. <baby>, not. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of it. Let's see where the scripture is. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find the scripture right quick. Hey, the water too. I'm going to read uh, James chapter 1 and 13, uh, 13 to 15, 13 to fit through 15. It says, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of Yahweh, for Yahweh cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. So Yahweh is not even, it's not, he not tempting you. He not doing that. You doing that to yourself. And it says, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away his own lust and enticed. So you you you, you going out your your flesh is going after what you used to doing. Man. Your your mind, your heart is is going back to what to what it's used to uh, doing. You know, if, if it's uh, mess with a bunch of, of committing adultery or whatever it is, that's what comes back because that's what you're used to doing. That's right. So the Most High is not even tempting you, man. You're tempting your own self. Right. And then it says, uh, Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. So when you start acting up on what you tempted on, you're starting to sin now. You know, so you know you you looking at a woman and and you know she married, but you go you go forth anyway. You now you starting to sin, man. And it said, and sin when it is finished bringeth forth death, because it says the scripture says the wages of sin is death, man. Right. You might be getting away with it. You think you're getting away with it at that moment. You think you had it. You think you you doing this and you doing that, but you ain't doing nothing like that. Man. You know? Right. What you got, bro? This is uh, 2 Ezra, chapter 16, starting at verse uh, 75. It says, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord God. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So, like the Lord said, be not afraid, neither doubt. For you how about Shimei is your guide. You keep your, your trust in him, he's going to guide you along the way. You know what I'm saying? To make what? Sound, solid, righteous decisions. You know? But when you give yourself over to them temptations like bro was talking about, then guess what? The Lord give you over to your lust, to your sins. You see what I'm saying? 
the Lord is just throwing you into a trick bag. You know, like bro said, you think you're getting away with it, but the Lord could be reserving you for the missiles. Why? Because you're not trying to, to stop sinning. You love conquering other men and women. That's your goal. It's all in the music industry. You know what I'm saying? They, they brag on taking other men's women. You're not a player if you don't take another man's woman. Now realizing that's committing adultery, man. She's property of another man. See what I'm saying? And then it's another whammy too because she not well, she don't care if she cheating on her man. She doing what she feel in her heart is, is 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 making her feeling good. Not knowing the Lord and gave her over to her lust by what? Sleeping with other men. See what I'm saying? So that's a double whammy and that's what? Equal to death. See what I'm saying? And it said, and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, who is that? That's the elect of Israel. That's what we're fighting for, to be part of the elect of Israel, to make it on this side. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to seek death. We're trying to seek life. And it says, said the Lord God, Yehovah let not your sins weigh you down. So if you do commit a sin, don't let it weigh you down. Be like, Lord, forgive me. You know, I fell short. Show me mercy. Show me grace. You know, Lord, pick, pick me back up and help me along the way. And it says, let not your iniquities, which is sin upon sin, lift up themselves. I mean, shit. Hey, I, I slept with his wife. I got away with this time. I do it again. The Lord ain't doing nothing to me, so I guess it's okay. Now, nigga, the Lord is setting you up for the fall. Just like how the feds do when you sell dope, they let your, your case build build it up so far until they bring the hammer down. That, that's it. Yeah, they don't want to give you no one year. You know they what I'm saying? They want to give you twenty years so they can get paid. That's right. That's the same way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, shot. He just let you let you just dig yourself into a deeper and deeper and deeper deeper hole, man. And then you in a place now that you can't. You in a place where you can't come back. That's right. You so far in the hole now, you you can't you can't come back. That's right. You sure right, bro. Let me get uh, Proverbs six and thirteen. Since you mentioned you dug yourself in the hole, is that six and thirteen? Uh, no. Six and. Are you looking for that? I'm gonna go to uh, Luke uh, chapter. Uh, this is 22, and verse 40. It said, "And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation.' Right. So you got to pray that you don't even enter into temptation. You know, you know what your weaknesses are. You've been living with yourself." For how many, uh, uh, how old, how many years you've been living, you know your temptations. You pray to the Most High that you don't have to fall into them before they even happen. That's right. You try to stay, what they say, stay ahead of the game. That's right. You try to, you gotta try to stay ahead of the game. You know what your temptations are, so you have to continually tell yourself, no matter what it is, Lord, I know I'm weak when this comes to this. Please deliver me from this. You know, you got to try to stay ahead of the game, man. That's right. Because you fight demons. We fight demons daily. It ain't just no once a week or three times a month. No, this you fighting this constantly, daily, all the time. There ain't no such thing as peace, really, when you come to this truth. You know? That's right. What you got, bro? Uh, I'm going to read it. Proverbs 6 and 32. All right, I got you. 
Proverbs chapter 6, verse 32. Said, but whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. That's right. You commit adultery, sleep with another man's wife, you're lacking understanding. And you're destroying your own soul. Why? Because that's another man's possession. You're invading in his prop on his property. See what I'm saying? But in your mind, you don't care. That's a goal for you. That's a notch under your belt. Because that's your own lustful desire. Is another man's woman. Not your own woman, but another man's woman. That's a demon. That's a strong, serious demon out here, man. To purposely seek after another man's woman, whether it's your sister-in-law, your uh, homeboy's wife, or whatever. When I was a two-thirds nigga, I, I, I did it. You I know? have too. You know, we committed adultery. I mean, that, you know, I prayed that you have about shame, y'all shall forgive me, but you know, I, I slept with uh, niggas' girlfriends, you know? Or, and, and willingly, too. I did it willingly. But you know, uh, when you come into this truth, man, and you still dealing with that issue, you need to you need to really pray, man. That's right. You need to pray. Uh, I, uh, what's that? Apostle uh, Ricard says all the time, pray without ceasing, man. He constantly pushes prayer, man. That's right. Constantly. He tells you to pray. I don't care if you're going outside. To to pick a seed off the ground. I don't care what you're doing. He all he tells you to pray. I pray a lot all day in my head. You know what I'm saying? I just I'm praying because you don't know what could happen, man. That's right. You know. That's right. It's okay, and it's okay to pray for your wife and your children too. You know you you pray for them. That's right. Come here, bro. That's right, because see, a lot of people don't understand. Like bro said, pray for your wife and kids because they be de battling demons that they don't know that they're battling. Oh. See what I'm saying? That's why it's so important and it's true. Like bro said, to pray without ceasing because you have to fight your demons plus your wife demons plus your children demons. Trying to keep them out your home. See what I'm saying? And that brings what? More temptations. See what I'm saying? That's why it's important for you to be to, to stay a spiritual man in this sinful kingdom, man. Because it's so easy to, to slip and go astray. You see what I'm saying? It takes a real man to follow the path and stay on the path of Yahweh by Shem Shai. It takes diligence. It takes responsibility, man. You know? It takes integrity. Because the world is so wicked, it's easy to commit a sin and not care about it. Because that's what this world is built on. But the Lord wants you to fight for him. Matter of fact, since we said that, we're going to get uh, Sirach chapter 4 and 28. But this is what the Lord wants you to do, man. Sirach. Yeah, chapter 4, verse 28. Sirach chapter four, um, chapter four, verse twenty-eight says, "Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee." That's right. It says, "Strive for truth, which is the Lord's word, is not wisdom understanding unto death, and the Lord will fight for you." And part of that striving for the truth is what resisting them temptations. See what I'm saying? And the Lord will fight for you. That's all you got to keep in mind. No matter what comes your way. Fight that temptation and the Lord have your back, man. Like the scripture tell you, he will never leave you nor forsake you. As long as you try and fight for his word, man. See what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to get the scripture right here. This is Baruch chapter 4 verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from, from God, you how about Shimei was shy, meaning when we was in our two-thirds state of mind, it says, so being returned, the Lord bring you into this truth 
to, to show show you grace and mercy and mercy, it says seek him ten times more. Like bro was saying, pray without ceasing. It says seek him ten times more. Fight hard for this truth, like we just read. Strive for truth unto death, and the Lord will fight for thee. You see what I'm saying? But you have to seek the Lord ten times more, meaning what? Put all your spirit, all your soul, all your might into this word, man. Try hard, man. You see what I'm saying? This is a fight, a constant battle, man. You know, what you got, bro? Man, this is Second Peter. chapter. This is what bro was talking about earlier, that you might be trying to get away, but, the, you know, the most high might just be uh, reserving you. For the day of just, I mean punishment. It's just a scripture, to, uh, a precept for the brother when he was uh, talking about that. This is a uh, Second Peter two and nine. It said, "The Lord knoweth how to dis deliver the godly out of temptations." It said, "The godly." What is that? Though it was just trying to follow the law, said the commandments of the heavenly Father and the Son. Yahweh by Shimei was shy. The hopeful elect. See what I'm saying? Go ahead. And to reserve. The unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. <laughs> That's the two thirds. Love, those that love committing sin. Those that love committing adultery and all other types of wickedness. That ain't trying to, to follow the law, statute, commandments. That ain't trying to do right. Man, some of us just call ourselves in the truth. That's out there doing wrong, man. You, could, you think you're getting away with it, but he just might be reserving you That's right. for the day of punishment. That's right. You know, you. you 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 not getting away, man. In other words, you, you're your own man. You getting away? Uh, what was that scripture, bro? Uh, you deceiving your own self. Yep. You uh, said be a hearer, be a hearer of the word, and not just do, do it only, because you you deceiving your own self. That's right. You supposed to be when you read something. You supposed to try your best to the best of your power and abilities to do what this these, these scriptures say, man. That's right. Don't half ass it, man. That's right. If you if you if you do fall down, you keep praying, man. You don't just give up, oh man, I fucked up. Oh man. No, you keep on, man. You just keep on. Don't beat yourself up because you'll start feeling a certain kind of way and just fall out, man. Keep praying for yourself, man. Keep on praying. Don't knock yourself over the head if you fall out, but you ain't supposed to sin willfully though. That's right. Once you find out Something is what it is. You're supposed to be trying to fix that. Pray to the Yahweh Bashim Yahushua that he take that out your mind. That's right. Remove that whatever it is out of your whole, you know, your out of your body. You just you got to build build up a prayer relationship with the Most High Man. That's really important to learn how to pray and mean what you say when you pray. That's right. All right. You can't be, um, oh Lord. Help me deliver me from this, and then, man, I'm just going to go. No, you got to mean it. I wonder if the Lord going to do this for me. I ask, but it ain't happening. In due time, it's going to happen, man. You just got to keep praying for yourself, man. Right. It's going to happen. It ain't going to happen overnight. It's going to happen. Right, bro. Go ahead, bro. What you got? Uh, trying to find this scripture right quick. You got something? Go ahead. Oh, I'll read this. 
is. This is Sirach chapter 5 verse 4. It says, uh, Say not I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me. Because that's what a lot of people say. You know what I'm saying? They commit these type of wickedness and sin. Well, the Lord ain't done nothing to me, so I guess I'm cool. I guess the Lord dealing with me. You know? It says, Say not I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me. For the Lord is long-suffering. He will in no wise let thee go. <laughs> so like bro said, hey, just because you, you haven't got punished for this sin yet, the Lord could just be reserving you for missiles. You know, like we always say, missile food. Missile food. You know, feed you to their fire. And that's a scripture that say that your burning flesh is going to be fuel to the fire. That's right. So that's why, that's more, more, that brings out the statement more that you're going to be missile food, man. That's right. Because your burning body is going to add to it, man. It's going to be fuel to the fire, man. That's what the scriptures say, man. That's right. Let's say that. Find the scripture. Where is this one? Yeah, let's save. I want to find the scripture. Hey. Everybody get your life. <laughs> Galatians 5. Is that a clean one? Is that a word? Check it out, Love. No. No. This is uh, Galatians 5, uh, in, in verse 16. It said, This I say then, walk in the Spirit. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the fillet of the flesh. You know, that's why you, you, you continually read this scripture, man. Read these scriptures, man. So you won't fall into temptations. What's up? You you continually, you know, examining yourself. What can I do better at? What's the the will of Yahweh Bashim? You know, you pray, man. You I can't, we can't, I guess, we can't say this enough, man. You have to keep a prayer life with the Most High, man. That's that's one of the most important things you can do, besides keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. It's keeping a, a, a solid prayer life with the Most High, man. That's right. That's right. That's how you stay in the spirit. Come. Praying. And reading these scriptures, the words of how about Shemel Shai. That's what keeps you out of trouble. You know, you're going to slip up every now and then, but like bro said, the important thing is to pray to the Lord, man. Depend on Him. That's what He wants you to do, is depend right. on Him. And not yourself. Because you feel like you get yourself out of trouble, that's really a form of pride that you better than the Lord. Right. See what I'm saying? I got myself into this. I'll get myself out. See, that's, no. that's, that's pride. No. <laughs> Not how it works, man. You got yourself uh, into it because you wasn't dependent on the Lord. Uh, this is uh, chapter uh, James chapter 4, verse 7. It says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to your Yahweh. It said, Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. There you go. You know? You got to submit yourself to the uh, Yahweh, you man. You got to give yourself your all to him, man. And resist the devil. Because he's going to attack. The more you get into these scriptures, bro told me when I first got the truth, he was like, man, I mean, like the first three months I was cool. But then after that, man, they just started coming. Blue, 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 blue. Devil tempted me on every hand, just coming at me, just through my through my kids, through my wife, through my job, friends. Or well, fake friends, because my real friends, you know, I, I still deal with, but, and the brothers, of course, man, they, you know, they always have my back. So you got to, it, it, it's it's hard out here, man, and you can't do this by yourself. You're going to need your how about shimmy, you're going to need the brothers for backup. That's right. That's right. Yeah, 
We got broke. I can't believe I can't find the scripture. What 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 it say, bro? Um, you got what it say? I can. What's the word you're looking for? <laughs> I can't phrase it right now. I know what I'm looking for, but I can't find it. It's, it's uh, just type in. Uh, what is it? God hates sinners. God hates sinners. Uh, No man uh, has, what is it, no man, no man knows, it's dealing with uh, sinning willfully, he haven't given no man the right to sin willfully, that guy, Yeah, he has commanded no man to sin, to sin willfully. That's what it is. I can't find it. I know I got it. The Hebrews, uh, for if we sin willfully after we yeah. receive the knowledge of the truth, there remains no sacrifice for us. Yeah, you can read that one. And then yeah. I got another one. Well, you can read what you got first. Uh, Since we're up, I mean, uh, yeah. The Rock 12. Yeah, I knew it was in there. And, wow. Let me see. Not that one. Let's see. 15 to 20. Yeah, that's it. Yep. What is it? The Rock 15 and 20. That's it. What do you know about you? This is Sirach chapter 15, verse 20. He that commanded he that commanded no man to do wickedly, neither he given any man license to sin. That's right. So the Lord has not allowed anyone to just what? Sin willfully. You see what I'm saying? Like the scripture tell you that Yahweh Shimei Osha is not the author of confusion. So how can you sit there and say, okay, well, I get away with this, I'm going to get away with that. You know, the Lord know my heart. Yeah, he know you're wicked. That's why you're getting punished. Because why? You're willfully sinning. See what I'm saying? Once a person tell you about the truth or you read something out of the scriptures, you're held accountable. Uh -huh. If you know you're not supposed to commit adultery and you do it anyway, you're held accountable. You're sinning willfully. You're temp That's like tempting the Lord. See what I'm saying? Oh, I know you. He, he got my back anyway, so I'm just going to go on and, and sleep with uh, Larry's wife. He'll forgive me. No, see, that's what the church teach you, that the Lord don't hate the sinner. He just hate the sin. No, we just read in Scripture that the Lord, he, he, he have not commanded no man to sin. That's a license to sin. If he, he don't hate the sin, he hate the sin. It, it right. takes you to commit the sin. You, that's some oxymoron type shit, man. It is. Because sin ain't just happening. It ain't in the air. It takes somebody commit to commit a sin. Matter of fact, you, you stay there. I'm going to get it. In 1 John chapter 3, we're going to find out what sin is. So we get a clear definition of what sin is. This is 1 John chapter 3, verses... First John chapter three, verse four. It said, "Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law." So when you commit sin, you're tra transgressing the law. What is the law? This Bible. This whole Bible contains the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, which is what the law. So anytime, anytime you break the law. Or break a commandment, you're committing sin. Here. You see what I'm saying? So, like we said, that's an oxymoron to say that God just hates the sin and not the sinner. No, the sinner is transgressing the law, which is what? Here. Committing sin. Mm -hmm. So that means what? The Lord is going to put you to death. Why? Because you're transgressing his law, especially if you're doing it willfully. You see what I'm saying? What else you got, bro?
I went to somewhere where we was all we already did that though. Yeah. Hey, that's the spirit will come out again. This is uh James yeah. chapter one verse twelve. See? It says, <laughs> Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. <laughs> and like how do you prove you love him? By following those laws, statutes, uh, commandments. You're not you're not transgressing the law. Can I have some pizza? You know, you keep those law, statutes, commandments. That's how you for the scripture say, if you love me, keep my commandments. Not just them ten. All of them. To the best of your ability. You know, Esau don't let us, uh, you know, keep Sabbath days and all that because they're how you working and doing all kind of stuff, man. So, you know, it's hard sometimes out here, but you're supposed to try to keep them to the best of your ability, man. That's right. That's right. That's why it's so important to... To pray to the Lord to keep you in the spirit, man. Uh -huh. Keep you in his faith. Because like bro said, hey, we could just get put to death alone by not keeping the Shabbat properly. Because, you know, on the Sabbath, we ain't supposed to do no man of work. But yet, like bro said, he saw this white man have us working. So the Lord can put us to death right there alone, man. That's why it's important to, to, to pray to him, man, for his mercy and grace, man. You see what I'm saying? This is uh Romans. No, you what you gonna get? Right? Romans fourteen. No, Romans six. Romans six and, Romans and fourteen. <laughs> That's the spirit. Romans six, bro. What you get? What you get? Verse of uh, well, well, let's start at verse. Let's start at verse eleven. Hey, warm them up some pizza, bro. Okay. Uh, Romans chapter six, verse eleven. It said, Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto Yahweh through Yahweh Shai our Lord. And how do you do that? Sticking to the law, statute, commandments of this Bible. Huh. It said, Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, meaning be dead from the cares of this world, dead to the lust of the flesh, to the best of your ability. You know, like we said, you're going to sin in this truth. But the key is not to keep committing the same sin and to, to move forward. To pray to you, how about Shimei Awashai, that he forgive you, give you grace and mercy, and move on, man. Strive for the truth. Keep reading, bro. What you got? <laughs> it said, Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that you should obey it in the lust thereof. That's right. It said, Let not sin therefore reign. Meaning take over and rule your body. Because when you reign, what does a, a king do? A king reigns in the kingdom or his rulership. So that means what? Don't let your sin rule over your body, man. Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. That, that means what? Don't totally give your body over to sin, man. If you know a woman is married, that means what? Don't sleep with her. Huh. You see what I'm saying? If you know that you're about to lie to your brother, that means what? Don't do it. Huh. Be honest. Be a man. That's right. No matter what the situation may be, be or man. the outcome, be a man about it. Like bro said. That way your real brother won't be mad at you, man. Huh. You know? Because the Lord hates liars. That's that's a, a pet peeve of his. Pride, lying, you know, as well as other sin. Don't lie to your brother, because if you lie to your brother, your brother can't trust you. Go ahead, bro. It said, but yield yourselves, but it said, but yield yourselves unto Yahweh, as those that are alive from the dead. How is we alive from the dead? This truth. When the Lord brings us into this word, the knowledge of them understanding, that's what gives us life. You see what I'm saying? When you out here in the, in the world, Committing sin, yielding your body to temptation, you are dead because the Lord is not dealing with you. You don't have his truth. Go ahead, bro. It said, and your member as an instrument of righteousness unto your house. That's right. An instrument is what? You, you, you use an instrument. Whether it's a musical instrument or a spoon, anything. Use. 
you use instruments. You see what I'm saying? So you want to be used by the Heavenly Father and the Son, you how about Shimei Shai in righteousness and not being used by the Lord in wickedness. Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are for ye are not under the law, but under grace. Keep reading. For uh, it says, What then shall shall we sin? Because we are not under the law, but under grace. Yeah, how forbid. See, that's what a church teach you that we're not under the law. We're which under actually we are under, under the law, because actually I'm gonna prove that. Well, matter of fact, don't go nowhere. Look over at Romans chapter 7, verse 1. <laughs> Ooh, <that's> <laughs> Romans chapter 7, verse 1. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how the law hath dominion over a man as long as he liveth. But I thought Paul just said in chapter 6 that we're not under the law but under grace. But he just said in chapter 7 that the law hath dominion over a man as long as he liveth. So which is it? Is Paul contradicting himself? No. no. What do it mean by we're not under the law but under grace? Because in, in the ancient days, the law, if you commit adultery, you automatically put to death. You see what I'm saying? You still, you get your hand cut off. And certain laws in the ancient days where you was automatically put to death. But see, that's why it says now you're under the law, that we're, you're not under the law but under grace. Even though we keep the laws, the Lord has given us mercy to get ourselves straight. You see what I'm saying? So, now, we're still under the law, but the Lord gives us grace to get ourselves correct. Because you read the scriptures in the ancient days, so if you did something wrong, the Lord put you to death. Like Ananias and Sapphira. They, they lied about stealing money, you know, keeping money for themselves, being stingy with it, and the Lord instantly put him to death a man and his wife but now the Lord is giving you time to get yourself right man you see what I'm saying so we are still under the law go ahead bro you want to keep going on seven uh two or you want to go back up no go back to uh six, six and uh sixteen yeah sixteen it said this is a uh, Romans chapter six verse sixteen it said know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey his servants, ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. That's what we're striving for, to be servants of obedience unto righteousness. That's what we're striving for, so the Lord can find something worthy in us to deliver us right. and not be yield as servants unto death. You see what I'm saying? Which means what? Yielding to your sins and temptations. Well, you're not even trying to fight for the truth. You're not even trying to stay in the Lord's good graces. You just rather be servants to Satan. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you keep getting these blessings from Satan. Oh, yeah, Satan does bless people. You see what I'm saying? You see it all around. You. Yeah, that's why, uh, that's why a lot of these people rich mm -hmm. out here. These famous actors and... Uh, well, they ain't famous to me, but these actors and these uh, rappers out here, yeah, I wish I ain't dealing with that. They they up there committing adultery, uh, right. sleeping with other. Uh, they they telling you to sleep with other men's wives, man. That's right. They they telling you to do this. They telling you to kill, murder. That's right. People, man, you know, and then go up on stage and like, oh, thank God, no. You think they talking about? You how about Shimmy how shy? No, they're talking to the devil, man. Right. The devil is blessing them, man. That's why you don't ask for worldly shit. That's right. You don't ask for no new house. You don't ask for no new car. You ask for the wisdom, understanding of this of the of this, this these scriptures, man. That's right. I used to be a wicked nigga that used to ask for money and, and cars and clothes and big booty holes and all that shit. I don't ask for none of that no more. All I ask for is the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of these scriptures. That's the most important thing ever. That's right. Right. The biggest thing, what they say, the biggest thing popping. That's right. <laughs> Best thing is some sliced bread. <laughs> uh, see, so you you going off when you start to ask for houses and cars and all that, man. You know, because he going to give you what you need. That's right. 
You got to give it to you. The less you ask for, the more he'll give you, though, actually. That's how it works. The less you ask for, the more you have about Shimmy Howe shower bless you with. And once he bless you, can't nobody take that shit from you. That's right. There's nothing nobody can do. Mm. Only, thing, only person that can fuck that up is you. That's right. You know? So we'll stop asking for cars. Ask for knowledge and wisdom and clothes and money and a good job and all that. Ask for knowledge and wisdom and understanding of these scriptures, man. That's what you ask for. That's the most important thing, man. That's going to help you all day-to-day -day life, all walks through life are in these scriptures, man. That's right. How you supposed to live, how you supposed to treat your neighbor, how you supposed to do everything is all in these scriptures, man. That's right. That's right. Is that not what King Solomon asked for? It was for more wisdom to, to better rule the Lord's people. And like bro said, you ask for the small things, the Lord will bless you with great things because that's what he did to King Solomon. King Solomon just asked for more uh, wisdom and, and knowledge and the Lord gave him wisdom and knowledge plus made him the richest man on earth. Huh. Why? Because that ain't what King Solomon was seeking for. He was seeking for more, more wisdom to better rule the Lord's people. And to guide them. See what I'm saying? The Lord bless them with over, whew, over the abundance of so much. Gold, silver, the most handsome man, you know, uh, whatever. The Lord gave it to them. And that's how we should be, man. Like bro said. You know? Uh, finish reading that in, in uh, Romans. We're going to 17. Yeah. It says, uh, this is Romans chapter 6, verse 17. It says, but Yahweh be thanked that ye were the servants of sin. See, that's the key. It said that ye were servants of sin. That's why you should be thanking Yahweh by Shem Yahweh for his grace and mercy. That he brought you out of that two-thirds state of mind. That ye were servants of sin. Go ahead. But ye have obeyed from the heart that, from that form of doctrine which had delivered you. And what is that? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures. That's what we obey. You see what I'm saying? Through the words of what? Our apostles and elders on down to us younger brothers. We're trying to follow this doctrine of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shot that leads us to what? Salvation and not destruction. Go ahead, bro. It said, Being then made free from sin, you became the servants of righteousness. That's right, because when you're a servant of sin, you just fall for anything. Okay. See what I'm saying? Hey, man, let's go run the train on, on uh, uh, Odell's wife. All right, bet. Let's do it. That ain't my girl. See what I'm saying? You became a servant of sin. You see what I'm saying? Hey, let's go ride uh, J-Rock down the street, man. That nigga got nine pounds and three keys. Fuck that nigga. He ain't my homeboy. Let's go. You became a servant of sin. Hey, man. Even though he's sinning, but right. still. You know, you became that server of sin. <clears throat> hey, man, I just got jumped by nine niggas. Man, let's go ride on these fools. Knowing it was just one dude that whooped his head, but because he a liar and he a homeboy, you believe him, so you go become a servant of sin. Shedding innocent blood. See what I'm saying? That's why it's so important, man, to stay in these scriptures because they, they get you out of all kind of temptations, man. You know? Even if you're riding down the street, you following your how about Shimmy or Shai, even you could be riding down the street and the police will pull you over, man, trying to plant drugs on you. The Lord will have your back to where that case won't even stand in court. He'll make a way out of no way, man. He'll turn your camera on your phone. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what he'll do and you'll be recording him don't even know it. That's right. <laughs> That's right, man. The Lord will have your back, man, as long as you serve him. See what I'm saying? Uh, that's it on that. That's it on that. Well, I'll read verse 19. It said, uh, Romans 6 and 19. I speak after the manner of men because of the affirmity of your flesh. Meaning your flesh is sick. For as ye have yielded your members' servants to uncleanliness and to iniquity, unto iniquity, sin on top of sin on top of sin on top of sin, even so now yield your members' servants to righteousness unto holiness. 
So what Paul is telling you, you went hard in your two-thirds state of mind. Now that you're in this truth, go hard for the Lord, man. You see what I'm saying? You got something, bro? I got to read down in verse 21. Go ahead, bro. It said, verse 20, For when you were the servants of sin, you were free from righteousness. That's right. There was no truth or light in you. Verse 21, What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. All that sin you was committing, if, you, if the Lord didn't bring you into this truth, guess what? You're going to die. Point blank, period. What you got, bro? Well, this is, um, 1 John chapter uh, 5, verse 17. It said, All unrighteousness is sin. Mm. <laughs> All unrighteousness is sin, man. All of it, man. <laughs> Not, I don't care how little it is or how great it is. It says, All unrighteousness is sin. And it says, And there is a sin not unto death. It says, And there is a sin not unto death. So the most high I kill you for the smallest sin, man. The greatest to the smallest, man. You taking a chance with your whole life committing sin, man. You don't want to take that chance. So you, if I was you, I'd try to follow those laws, statutes, commandments to my to the best of my ability. Because if you do that, you're not sinning against you. How about Shimmy man? You're showing them that you love them, man. So he can give you these blessings of understanding these scriptures, man. Some of us want, want the blessings of the scriptures. Start doing a little bit better with your life, man. Start start reading more. Start asking the Lord for more knowledge and wisdom to understand what's going on in these scriptures, man. That's the that's the biggest, that's one of the that's a big thing, man. Just follow those laws, statutes, and commandments, man. That's how you're gonna make it. That's how you're gonna be beamed up onto a chariot that we hoping. Praying that we can get a ride on. That's right. You know, we want to get on. We want to get on there. You know, we want to get beamed up. That's right. Me and bro was talking about this today at work, man. You know, we tired of, of this shit, man. We, if you like this world and want to live here, something is really mentally wrong with you. That's right, man. There's something meant. You you have a mental condition. That's right. This is uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 5. It says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So if you're seeking, like, bro, we're talking about the, the, the money, cars, and clothes, and big booty holes, well, that's what you're going to Seek after that. So what the Lord is going to yield you over to. Because that's all you're seeking. But if you're seeking the things of the Spirit, guess what? The Lord is going to bless you with more knowledge and understanding on how to make wise decisions to get yourself out of different temptations. That's see what I'm saying? Blessing. Huh? That's the true blessing right there. That's right. Getting these scriptures, man. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Because really, like bro said earlier, when the Lord throws different things your way, it's to test your faith. Because the Lord give you a brain for a reason, and that's to use. You see what I'm saying? It's not just like they used to say when we were growing up, use your head other than for a hat rack. The Lord wants you to make sound judgment and decisions by what? Depending on Him. Go ahead. This is Romans chapter 14, verse 23. It said, and he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not in faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. See, eateth what? The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of his word. Because the Lord gave you the parable of take, eat, this is my body. Meaning what? This word. This is what you're supposed to eat and digest. Huh. See what I'm saying? But if you eat it doubting, doubting your faith in your by Shimmy Shah, like you said, you're damned. You're going to be killed. See what I'm saying? So when people say, God damn you, that means what? God condemn this person. That's all. You got to understand the meaning of words, man. 
You see what I'm saying? Because if you're not in this truth, then guess what? You're damned. You're doomed. The Lord is going to kill you. You know, it's, it's cut and dry. Either you follow the Lord or you die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no other way around it. You know, what else you got, bro? Uh, it says, uh, oh, verse 7. This is Romans 8 and 7. Because it said, uh, because the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So, if you're thinking on fleshly things, that means you became an enemy of Yahweh by Shem Shai. If you're not trying to please the Heavenly Father and the Son, you're an enemy. You're become, you're become the son of Satan. You see what I'm saying? Because why? Our mind is supposed to be focused on the spiritual aspect. Yeah, we call ourselves having our little fun here and there on this earth. But our main focus is supposed to be what? On Yahweh by Shimei Shai and how to please him. That's why it's not wise for brothers to have too many women because why? That's a distraction. Oh. That takes you away from the focus on Yahweh by Shimei Shai. See what I'm saying? It's hard enough just dealing with one woman in this kingdom, let alone nine. See what I'm saying? Because even your one woman trying, she don't be trying to intentionally do it, but you know, women like to think on worldly things. Baby, let's go to Walmart and look at some oven mitts when you're trying to read and study. Like, no, I can't do it right now. That's, you always do that. You see what I'm saying? So, that's why it's just best to stick with one if you got one. You know, that way you can focus on the Lord with no distraction. You see what I'm saying? Because that leads into more temptations that you don't need, man. You're already battling your own demons. You don't need no extra luggage. You know? But a lot of brothers don't take that in consideration. They think just because they're in the truth that the Lord is going to protect them from everything. No, you got to do your part also. You know? The Lord ain't going to just fight all your battles for you without you doing nothing. You just sitting back and, and just enjoying the ride. No, you got to put in your work also, man. You got to pray to the Lord. You got to pray with all supplication, meaning begging the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to give the Lord his, 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 uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, just do. Yeah, that's it. The water. <laughs> you got to give the Lord his just do, man. You know? I mean, that's, that's just the truth about the matter, man. You can't do nothing without your how about Shimei was shot. No matter how hard you try, what you think you can do, you can't do nothing without the Lord. See what I'm saying? What you got? Matter of fact, <laughs> matter of fact, I got Romans 8 and 31. It said, what shall we say then to these things? If if God, you how about she may shot before us, who can be against us? See what I'm saying? You keep your mind focused on the Lord, he got your back. No matter what you face with, no matter what situation you in, always remember, if the most high be for you, who could be against you? The hell with this world, man. The hell with other people think about you. Keep your mind focused on your hell by Shimei Abishai. Nothing else even matter, man. You see what I'm saying? What you got, bro? I know your mind, bro. <laughs> What's the scripture that says, man, the Lord, I mean, born is not of his own. Oh, uh, what is it, Proverbs 20? Man's goings are of the Lord. Yeah. We don't have no control of nothing, man. Most high make you have to do this and do that. Put yeah. some on your mask, you, you should go here and do that. You know, Proverbs, what's that, bro? 20 and 24. This is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. He that saith unto the wicked. Huh? I'm 24. Proverbs 20 and 24. Nah, I did. I was at the wrong. Shalaki, brother. Are oh, you good? This is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. It said, Man's goings are not are of the Lord. How can a man that under understand his own way? That's right. You know, we, we don't got you can't understand your own way. Everything you do. How about Shimei Ashai makes you do? Either it's on the right hand or the left hand. If you're doing bad or if you're doing good, it's all his decision, man. 
This ain't nothing you can do. He's in control of all. He gonna send them them demons on you to see if you gonna pass the test. Right? Did he not do that to Job? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh, he allowed Satan to to, to test Job. He attacked him viciously. Man, Job got attacked terribly, man. Some of us can't even stand him up for cussing us out. <laughs> Let alone Job went through all his own wife cussed him out, man. told him to curse God and die. Job lost. Everything. Everything. <laughs> and his body was jacked up, man. <laughs> Joke, man. Some of us can't take, like I said, can't even take getting cussed out. <laughs> can't take, we get mad instantly. Yeah, motherfucker, blah, blah, blah. We get to running off mouth, running off like a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But Job took all that, man. So it did. And kept his integrity. He kept his integrity. <laughs> That's how I want my faith to be. That's right, man. And how about Shimmy I was shot? It don't matter what happens to me, that I don't lose it. I don't bug out. That's right. This is uh Romans chapter seven, verse fifteen. This the Lord brought this out, man. This is what we mentioned earlier. This is Romans seven fifteen. It said, for that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. Meaning, I'm not trying to sin, but I do sin. I don't want to sin, but I do. I'm trying to do right, but I sin. You know, that's what Paul is saying. It said, if then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that is good. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I'm not trying to sin, but I sin. Why? Because I'm in this sinful flesh. You know? That's why it's so important for us to, to try and strive to the best of our ability to stay on this straight and narrow, man, when you how about shit me, I was shy. To make sure we hold on to the Lord's hand, that he don't let us go, man. Once he let you go, that's it. That's it. You know, like like you always say about uh, make that statement like y'all on Friday. You ain't got to worry about the dog. No, you got to worry about being no damn dog catcher. Got to worry about the dog <laughs> catching your ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, once he let you go, you ain't got to worry about it no more. Cause you you finna get it, man. That's right. You finna get it. You ain't got to worry about being no dog catcher. That's right. <laughs> you worry about the dog catching your ass now. Because you have no protection no more. You are not protected. Once you start doing what you want to do and, and falling for these temptations and, and going after your own lustful desires, the Most High will turn you into, He'll just let you do it. Okay, well, that's what you want. That's what you desire the most. That's right. Well, here you go. Now you have free will to do whatever you want. And the Lord going to kill you, man. It's just the bottom line. Because he said, his scriptures is not a lie. He said, the wages of sin is death, man. There's no way to, there's no, his word is the truth and everybody else is a liar. That's right. Man. The Lord is so cold. Cold. Because like you said, free will, when you don't have free will, the brothers just read in Proverbs 20, 24, that man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way? Come on. So the Lord give you over to that. Have you thinking you got free will to commit commit this well, sin? He didn't put you in this trick bag because he controlling you to do it. Yeah, that's why I say he'll send them, de sick them demons on you and let them turn loose. Why? Because you yield yourself you, over right. to it. That's what you desire. You, you ain't trying to get right. That's right. You basically like, forget the Lord. Yeah. I am the Lord. Uh -huh. So the Lord going to show you that you ain't nothing. Or make you think that you is. <laughs> Just to preserve you for the day of destruction. Bro. And to magnify his power, <laughs> man. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. I don't never get in that state of mind, man. That's crazy, man.
But see, now you can't play with them. Yeah, how about Shimmy Oshai? You cannot. And he's not going to allow you to anyway because you're tricking your own self. But your brothers got to seek out this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures, man, and pray that you one of those elect people, man. That's right. You go 144 to 130. One, well, 130. Oh, man. Oh, wow. The how about Wow. This is Romans uh, 8, 28, man. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh Shem Yahweh To them who are called according to his purpose. What do, what do you mean by those that are, that are called according to his purpose? His elect, the ones he chosen. That's why it's important to pray and say, Lord willing, we are the elect because we don't know or not. But we striving to do the things. Matter of fact, bro, for me, get Colossians, uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. Colossians 3 and 12, bro. Right. Man. <laughs> Ooh, man. Watching y'all shot so wonderful, man. Colossians 3 and 12. This is Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. It said, Put on therefore as the elect of Yahweh. Now, what does the elect do? The elect follows the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father to the best of their ability. The elect resist temptation. The elect, the elect keep his mind on Yahweh Hashem Shai and the things that pleases the Lord. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Say holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. That's right. That's what the elect does. We're striving to be the elect. We don't know that we are the elect, but, but we're trying to do everything that, that the elect person would do. Come. See what I'm saying? Back to Romans 8 and uh, 29, it said, For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, Yahweh Shai. So, like we read in Colossians, we're trying to do everything that Yahweh Shai did as putting on what? The elect. Because Yahweh Shah was the ultimate elect. Perfect we're trying to, that's right. And we're trying to follow in his footsteps, as they say. You see what I'm saying? And it says that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, meaning he knew from the beginning, before everything was created, who we was going to be. That's why it's important for brothers to pray that you are of the elect. That you was the ones chosen from the beginning. Because we're trying to do everything that what the spirit of Yahweh Shimmy Shai did. It's not easy, but we're trying. That's what the Lord wants to see that you try. Go back to Proverbs, or is it 20, 24? 24, yep. A man's going is not of his own, man. So That's we're right. hoping that we we predestined to do this, man. That's why it's so important that you pray that the Lord ain't putting you through a trick bag. Uh huh. That to have you in this truth and then all of a sudden you fall victim to a temptation that you out the truth. You see what I'm saying? But the way to fight that is what? Keep your mind on your how about Shim Yahweh Shai. That's why it's so important what? To trust on your how about Shim Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Forget uh, Kilo, the nigga down the street with nine pounds. Forget him. The real riches is your how about Shim Yahweh Shai. That's what's so important. Because with all hell break loose, that's the only thing that you're going to have is just word, man. You see what I'm saying? And it says, Moreover whom he did predestinate them, he also called. That's why the scriptures say, Many are called, but few are chosen. These are the chosen that the Lord called from the beginning of the foundation of this world, man. That's what we're praying for, that we are those men. That the Lord chose from the beginning to be delivered and saved by him. You see what I'm saying? And it says, 
And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. That's what we're hoping for. We're those ones that the Lord glorified from the beginning. I know we got to go through this hell as, as a learning experience so we can be better judges and kings and rulers in the kingdom. But we pray that we are those men that make it on this side, man. Whether Even if it's by death, we pray that we are those chosen men and the elected by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because we gave up everything in this world for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see what I'm saying? And we're praying that we are those righteous men. You know? You got anything, bro? So with that, all praises to you. How about she me? I was shy. A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And much love and, and blessings and peace to all you elect brothers out there that's pushing the truth out of love and sincerity. So with that, death to America. Death to America. Death to Indianapolis. Death to Indianapolis. Kwame Yashallah. Kwame Bakar. Shalom. Shalom.